Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Element 3D and Optical Flares from Video Copilot together um, to make the element object block the optical flare. So it's going to look something like this. My computer would render fast enough. There we go. Okay, so you can see that the optical flare is hidden behind the L in element here. And then it reappears. Hey, wow, check that out. That is, that's something cool there. So, uh, it's fairly, fairly easy to set up. And let's, uh, let's get into it right now, the setting up part. New composition. You go under composition, new composition, right there. You can press control new or control N. It doesn't say new. Um, what I like to do, though, is go down to this little box here that says create a new composition in the project window. I just click that and it brings this up and it's quite wonderful to do it that way and that's why I do it that way. So I'm going to go with 1280 by 720 at 29.97 frames per second and duration is going to be about 5 seconds you know because it doesn't really matter but obviously if you're making a longer um, graphic go ahead do you know do 30 give, you, give yourself that extra 25 seconds yeah that'd be good now we're going to create three new solids. Uh, so new solid. We're going to name this one element 3D or whatever you want. You know, you name it Tom or, you know, it's up to you really. So another one, we're going to do optical flares like that. We're going to click OK. And the last one, this is just for the background, just to make things look pretty. So let's type in background. Like that. Or again, you know, whatever you want. You could write Jan in this. It, it'd be weird to name it like that, but, you know, you could. By all means, go ahead. It's your project. So, you know, if you want it to suck, you can let it suck. And I don't care. So now let's add the different effects to the different layers. I've already got optical flares up, so let's do that one. Drag optical flares to the optical flares layer. Go back to the effects and type in element. And we're going to drag that to the element 3D layer. And for the background, I'm going to use the ramp effect. So ramp, it's under generate, generate ramp. Drag it to the background. And let's drag this below the other things. Let's do a quick setup of optical flares. So click on that layer and you're going to go to render mode to on transparent which is going to bring up the ramp. Let's go ahead and hide the ramp for a second. Hide the background layer because things could get confusing. Okay and we're going to do um, source type track lights. We don't have any lights in here yet so it's going to disappear but we can add one real fast. Go to new light Press OK. So now the optical flare is going to follow wherever the light is. I don't like that flare though, so let's change the flare by clicking on optical flares and going up to options. And it brings up this user interface for the optical flares plugin. Let's go to lights and let's do evening sun. It's very beautiful, evening sun. And go ahead and change the blend mode over here under general parameters to screen. It'll make it look better, more realistic, I guess, if, uh, you know, once we finish this. Just you, just wait. Just wait. Hold your horses there. You're getting a little out of control. Just calm down. Let me show you how to do this, and it'll be good. Okay, so now that we have optical flares set up slightly, we're still not done with it, but, uh, you know, it's good enough for now. Go ahead and make a new text layer by clicking up here on the text tool, and let's call it element... Oh, it's nice and red. Let's do all caps. Element. Okay. Now we've got the element text, and you can go ahead and shut that off so we don't see it. And click on element 3D, and go to the custom layers, custom text and masks, and then under path 1, path layer 1, choose element, the text that we typed in just now. Now go up to scene setup, Click Extrude 
and so now we're gonna have this nice 3D geometry of our text. And it looks beautiful. We can go ahead and add, you know, a chrome material to that. So it's all, sh ooh, that's shiny. Look at that, look at the shine on that. That is amazingly shiny. Okay, let's set up the ramp now, just to make things look beautiful. First one in the middle here. And let's do this one over here somewhere. And let's change the ramp shape to from linear linear to radial. So it makes this nice little thing here. And the first color we're gonna do a lighter gray. And then the second color is going to be almost black. Like that. Oh, doesn't that look eh, let's actually let's change this a little bit. So it maybe looks a little better. There we go. Okay, so we've got the element 3D set up, the optical flare set up, and now our beautiful background ramp. So beautiful. Now we're going to add a camera. So click New and Camera. Click OK. And if you press C on the keyboard, it brings up the camera controls so we can look around this thingy. If you left click, it rotates it. If you right click, it trucks in and out, and if you middle click with your middle mouse button, it will move the camera position. Ooh la la, indeed. All right, now we're going to duplicate element 3D, that layer, by pressing Control D, and you're gonna pre-compose that by pressing Control Shift and C, and this is just gonna take it into a new composition, but leave um, the composition in here. Just, you just wait, just wait, you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. And we're gonna name this Element Mask, like that. Press OK. Now open Element Mask, and we're gonna add a new camera in here, like that, just like we did in the other one. Now grab the Element Mask um, timeline and take it on top of the other timeline so you can see both of them at the same time. When you have the camera selected, you're gonna press P and shift and hold down shift and press A and it's gonna bring up the point of interest and the position for the camera. Do the same for the comp two that I have here or your comp one or whatever you named your comp. If you named your comp, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not in your house right now, it's a little weird. It's weird for you even to suggest that. So, okay, well, anyways. So do the same thing, P and A. Now you're gonna go up to the element mask and you're gonna hold down alt as you click the stopwatch for point of interest. And you're gonna grab the pick whip over here and drag it down to point of interest and let go. And it's going to set up to copy the numbers for point of interest on this comp. Do the same for position. Like this. All right, so now our cameras are linked together, or this camera more so is linked to this camera. So you can drag this back down here so that they're all in the same area like that. We have the element mask, which we can shut that off. And let's move the light. Let's move our camera, actually. Get a little bit closer to the element words. Wonderful, wonderful. And let's move the light around here a little bit. Let's take it back behind. A little ways like that. All right, you can see though that the flare is still obviously in front of element, the words element, which is a problem. And hey, that's what this tutorial is for. All right, so now we have the element mask, which matches the camera, which there's no camera movement right this second, but let's add some camera movement by clicking on our camera and setting keyframes for the point of interest and position. And if you press C, we can go ahead and start, let's have it starting like this and let's move down to like, you know, a couple, let's do 
five seconds. Yeah, let's go all the way to the end of the composition and move this around a little bit. The camera, maybe let's zoom in real fast, like that. And drag it over like this. Beautiful. So now our camera is moving like this. Let's go ahead and start this frame off a little differently. Like this. Okay, so we're in this main composition. And the camera's moving. But now also in the element mask, the camera's going to move in the identical fashion because the cameras are linked. So this is going to create a mask that we can use to block out the element flares. So the way we're going to set that up is we're going to go to optical flares. I think I just said element flares. Did I just say element flares? That was incorrect, I apologize. It's optical flares. And we're going to take the intensity up, the brightness, sorry, like that, just to make it look a little, ooh, a little better. Mm. And we're going to go to the foreground layers right here. And make sure this is set to alpha right here. And on layer one, we're going to choose element mask, which isn't going to do anything right this second, unless I move this over here. See, it blocks it now. Oh, we did it. Go team. That was us high-fiving, if you didn't, if you didn't hear that noise. We'll work on it. So that's great and all, but then it completely goes away when you go behind it right here. And that's just not cool. That doesn't look good. So a remedy for that, which if you watch the Optical Flares tutorial by Video Copilot, you would know that we just duplicate this layer, put one of them behind the element layer, and we'll turn the brightness up a lot. Well, first, disable, and the second thing that you just copied, the second Optical Flares you just copied, you're going to, um, where is it, foreground layers, you're going to turn that off. So it's still there. And let's turn the intensity up a little bit on that one. Let's go back into the options. And I like to delete all of the lens elements from this one. Pretty much just keeping this. So let's delete this, 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 this. Let's delete those. Click OK. And now when it comes out of that, oh, look at that. Look at all those. Lens things, lens flare thingies. It's beautiful. Yeah, so that's, that's about it. Um, yeah, have, have fun, I guess, with this. I suppose. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what, you're, what you do for, you know, fun. But uh, if this brings you joy, have fun with it. And make cool, shiny things that interact with Element 3D. I'm going to go now. This is getting awkward. You're just, you know, sitting here watching the rest of this, and it's kind of weird because there's nothing really. I, I showed you already how to do everything, and so I don't know why you're still here. It's, you're crying, you're, it's a little awkward. I'm kind of freaked out by this right now, actually. Um, so I'm going to take my things and go home, and you can probably X out of this or something is probably would be a good idea to do that. And don't forget to save your work, you know, frequently. <laughs>